Jai Gudev, everyone. So, as we are opening the working, so we will read some chapter from uh, the Bhakti Vijaya. Bhakti Vijaya is a composition of all the Leela of Panduranga. You see, in the form of Vithala, Bhagwan is very dear to his devotee. You know, the beauty of Vithala Leela, we can everybody relate to him in that way. Like one of the writing of Tukaram, what we were just singing right now, you know, where he said, you know, Nama Bharati Sadhana Nahi, you know, which means there is no other sadhana when chanting his name. And we see that so clearly. You see, it's not the philosophy behind that. It's not the deep understanding. Of course, in the West, we have a different understanding. Our mind wants to understand everything. We think that if we have great knowledge of scriptures, we can love God more. Which is not true, actually. The most simple way, you know, but with love. And we have seen that in all the glory of Bhagwan, when do he come? Not when you are knowledgeable. All those people who have had darshan of Bhagwan, it is in the most simple way of calling him from their heart with devotion. That's two things that he asks, love and devotion. Through love, bhakti, grow. Yeah? And through bhakti, love for him grow. So both goes hand in hand. They can't be separate from each another. In Bhagwan's Leela, it's so amazing. We see it from any category of people. How yesterday I was telling you the story of the butcher itself, how he, Bhagwan, because of his selfless service and his complete dedication and his mind attached to him, Bhagwan came to him. How his grace come, it's amazing. You know, when we were putting the Kali deity outside, normally, in many places, you know, we don't have, you know, in Vaishnava tradition, they don't put mothers, you know, outside here. But you see this, she has been, in my family, she is the cool Devi, which means she has been the protector of uh, our family since generation. And when we came from to Stefansov, no, for the Springen, sorry, I get confused still. Springen, we were not planning to have the Kali temple there. And one night, mother came in, her, in the dream, and she said, she was standing under the tree, and she said, I want a place, I want to be here in this place. And then, you see, next to mother, there's always a bearer. And then she said, look, go in the forest. You will find a stone, a certain dimension, how it is, she described. And uh, so use that as bearer. That was her order. So next morning, I wake up and I said to Swami Niruddha, listen, I had this wonderful dream of Mother Kali. And she, she wants to be there in this place, you know, outside. 
to remove all the negativity and cleanse everyone. No? And she gave the instruction to look for that stone. That I don't know where you want to look, I give you the description, go to the forest and look for that stone. <laughs> I think he went with Pankaj or somebody. <coughs> they went and eventually they did find the stone. As she told, you know. So, you see, we think we are in control of life. Our life is long time plan. You know? We came here with that plan. And Bhagavan have planned it so meticulously, so to detail who have to be on the path, who have not to be on the path, who is uh, say, who have that grace or not. But we have to do also our part into it. You know? So I was standing to, next to Mother Kali there, I was saying, one thought passed through my mind when I was 15 years old actually. 15 or 16 years old. That, you know, I was saying to mother, you know, at that time, when uh, I started, not my journey, because my, uh, my journey was from the day one itself, you know. <laughs> but when it became obvious that Bhagavan had his plan, you know, for, 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 for me. I remember we decided to build a small temple, which means the temple was the same size as a Kali temple, what you see there, square, like this. I said, that is the temple I want to make for you, Mother. Uh, not Mother, I mean. So that was the plan, you know, that we will have a temple, just a small temple, like this size. <laughs> In the in our courtyard, there was a pond, not a pond, a pond, no, 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 not a pond, a basin, like, which I used to put fish inside. <laughs> I went to the river and catch fish and put them inside. It was <laughs> lovely. So when uh, we decided to make the devil, said, okay, fine, all fish out back into the river. will make that little place the temple. Probably Bhagwan was laughing. Yeah. And uh, it's amazing to see, you know, but uh, from that idea of having just that little temple itself and seeing what Bhagwan is making happening now, <laughs> it make me laugh always, you know. <laughs> And this is the glory of uh, His grace, you know. And seeing you all, you see, like I said during the Shandidya Bhakti Sutra, what is the most wonderful, you know, the most uh, amazing and the most touching is when I see the devotee change, you know, the, from what life they had before and what Bhagavan brought them, this is not your culture, it's not your religion, it's not, you know, nothing to do. I don't think that any one of you, when you were not devotee, were thinking, well, one day I will go and uh, say, surrender myself, become yellow like uh, mi minions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have ever thought about that. <laughs> have you? No. And you devotees, I don't think you have ever think that we will sing Bhajan Kirtan. Huh? I'm sure you had judgment on people who were like this. I'm sure you were looking at them thinking, they are strangest people. Yes or no? Yes. How many of you thought that? that? Or the others? <laughs> no, just being polite. 
But this is the Leela of Bhagawan himself, you know. That as much as you can resist life, you can change the path, pathway of a, of a river, but the river will flow. It will find its own way, it will flow. And that the river of love that you have, that he have placed inside of you, not in this life. We say punya janma, you know, it means that whatever you are receiving right now is things that you have, you have done, you have earned the merit to get to know him. You have earned such a merit to chant his name because you belong to him. You don't belong to anybody else, you belong to him. He's claiming back that you are mine, I want you back. I want to remind you of our relationship. And for that, he has so many ways. You know? And strange his ways sometimes. <laughs> you know? Mysterious is his ways, you know. It is, we want to comprehend it with our mind, forget it. From that little temple that I wanted to make, that big, big temple everywhere he said, for sure Bhagwan was in Vaikuntha laughing. <laughs> you know, for sure he said, yeah, you have sent you down there not to make that little temple. <laughs> but not that is the most important, but not this temple outside within the motor. The temple which each one of you have in your heart, that's the biggest temple. Where Bhagwan has it, did the Pran Pratishta itself inside of you. You know, this is the most beautiful temple. And through that, what you have inside, he projected it outside, you know. The beauty of the outside is the reflection of what you have inside. This temple will not happen outside. This universe, this whole thing will not happen outside. If it is from inside, you project it. And it is the one inside of each one heart, the temple that you have transformed your heart into. No, sorry, the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yes, it is right. Eh? Did I say it right? Ah. <laughs> Little emotion, so it's a word. <laughs> you get it, what I mean. Eh? And this is a beautiful thing, you know. Your temple that you hold inside of your heart is so big. You know. It's full of love. You know. When you're chanting, seeing everybody dancing, chanting, they are one, you know. And this is the Leela of Bhagavan, which I see. Other Leela, yes, is beautiful. You know. Other Leela is to show, yes, there is a greater force behind. No. But the Leela which I perceived, you know, is that transformation which the devotee have gone through. And this is the most beautiful.